uh, Christian and Billy versus Sergey Jevrajenko, man. There was a lot of injuries, you know what I'm saying? It's that is amazing work. Oh, God. You actually saw the body. Damn. I'm sorry. There was a doctor visit as well. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. And praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. Check this out. So, this, this, um, well, last night, you know, we had a, a lot of boxing, man. A lot of good boxing, man, on ESPN, you know. Um, the headline was, of course, uh, Christian and Billy versus Sergey Jevrajenko, man. There was a lot of injuries, you know what I'm saying? And speaking of injuries, you know, there was a lot of. There was, a, there was a doctor visit as well, you know what I'm saying? And that was by Abdullah Mason, man. The man looks so surgical when he fights, man. I love him, man. He, he, he looked very good. And, and he got rid of his uh, opponent early as usual. And, you know, I, I hope they keep him on the right track, man. I think he's a future pound for pounder. Um, that's how we look right now. I know that's a little premature to bestow that, 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 that title and that, um, you know, bestow that type of, uh, expectations on him but i think he will be good man i think he's been showing that he's good and you know like, i like how they've been moving the young man i think it's time for him to step up in competition a little bit now because he's blowing him out the water but at the same time i do like this pace man so he got a win no surprise there then also man we also uh saw aslana beck man he came back against uh giovanni uh, giovanni guido vianelli excuse me vianello and uh yeah guido um you know i thought this was going to be a uh, a very difficult fight i thought this fight was going to be an interesting fight and it definitely did not disappoint you know and i i you know it, those of you that have not seen guido last time we seen him he was um some some would say he was upset um not upset sorry some people say he was robbed you know i'm one of them i think that uh his last fight against the nigerian fa jogba saw the italian guido vianelli vianello get up uh, get robbed in my p and i thought that it wasn't it wasn't a super bad robbery but a robbery is a robbery and i thought that he won you know um I was rooting for F.A. Jogba, but I thought Guido did enough. He deserved that win. So, you know, he was bouncing back with something to prove, and he definitely proved it against Arslan and Mah Mahmoudov, the lion, right? Um, and while I was, I was this time, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to learn to stop uh, 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 going against Guido because I was I, I thought Arslan and was going to win this one, even though I thought it was going to be a close fight, you know, because they both had something to prove. You know, Mahmoudov winning his last his last one or two fights, I can't remember, since losing to Ajit Caballel, because legit is legit. You know, he was upset by Caballel, and I think this with this loss, um, Guido just put that pressure on his eye, man. His eye looked terrible, man. Remember, like, Bri Bri Brian Mendoza had that swelling on the side of his face after he fought Serhi Boachuk? Well, he had the same swelling, but he also had his eye closed while with the swelling, man. So, it just it just looked very bad, man, and I hope Mahmoudov recovers well, but I don't know where he goes from here, because I think that him beating the series contender at heavyweight right now, especially with heavyweight having such a resurgence, you know, with Martin Bacoli, with um, Daniel Dubois, Anthony Joshua, Joseph Parker. I just don't know, especially not even to mention uh, Tyson Fury and Usyk, who are the two best, with Usyk being number one, in my opinion. It's, it's hard to imagine that he beats these guys, you know, Big Bang Zang and, you know, but, um, you know, I mean, he, he can still have some good fights. Of course, it'd be serviceable. Like you fight like Joe Joyce and guys like that. But I just don't think that even Philip Hergovich coming off of a loss, an upset loss to Daniel Dubois, I don't think he, he, he could he could beat Philip Hergovich or even Jared Anderson coming off of a loss to Bacoli. I think Bacoli, I think Jared Anderson also beats Mahmoudov. So I think um, he has to go back to the drawing board and holler at his team and see what they could, um, you know, see what they could do, you know, as far as his next moves, you know. Um, it's going to be tough for us to back Mark Badal from here on. Um, but shout out to Guido Vianello, man, the Italian. Um, he, he did his thing, you know. I think he has some fast hands. He has some slick movement, and which we already knew, like I said, especially if you saw his last fight against F.A. Jogba, you know, he did his thing. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to the – it's just another – I'm looking forward to see more of Guido, you know, just another another player in the heavyweight division, man. It's being, it's being revitalized, you know, I'm coming back. And that's always good for boxing because the majority of the world loves the big guys, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, this, 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 this is good, man. He just adds another player to the, uh, uh, to the, to the tournament and the, and, the, and, the, and the rising depth of, of the heavyweight division. Now, the main event, man, the main event we want to talk about is um, 
Christian and Billy and Sergey Jevrajenko. Like I said earlier, the injuries and the doctor visit. So we covered one injury and we covered one doctor visit to calling Abdullah Mason the doctor because he looked surgical, you know, uh, against his opponent. So now we have um, um, Christian and Billy and Sergey Jevrajenko. My bad, I had a brain fart. <laughs> and, and they both sustained injuries, man. Check this out. That is amazing work. Yeah, so Sergey Jevrajenko, man, he hurt his bicep, but that looked crazy. His, his bicep was jump man, jump man, like Drake and Future. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> jump man, jump man, jump man. His, his bicep looked like he was trying to jump out his arm. So that, that was crazy, man. And, and 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 that was early too, man. So shout out SD. We already knew he's a warrior. We already know he has a championship pedigree, man. It's just it's just crazy that Sergey Jevrajenko just seems like he just always gets the short end of the stick, right? He's just always unfortunate, man. It's crazy to think that somebody, a, a caliber of fighter of Sergey Jevrajenko, is 15 and six. What? He's hey. and you know he has close fights with with great fighters. You know he had a close fight with Triple G. Some people say he won. I thought it was I thought it was a very close fight. He had a close fight with um with uh, Jaime Munguia. Some people say he won again, but I thought the knockdown really swung it in Jaime Munguia's favor. You know he he fought uh, uh Jabal Charlo. He fought Daniel Jacobs. Had a close fight with him. So it's just like man, it's hard to think. It's hard to imagine that this guy is fifteen and six, man. That is, uh, that is, that, that's why you just can't go off a record because if you just go off his record, you'll probably say that he's not that good. But if you watch his fight, you'll know that he's good, man. Championship caliber fighter, man. It's just, it's just, uh, it's just wild to think that, this, like I said, this guy is 15 to 6 because he's way better than what his record will suggest. Um, that's why they say number, women lie, men lie, numbers don't lie. Well, numbers can be deceiving, you know, and, um, they could be manipulated too, you know, depending on what, what story you're trying to kick. But, you know, I also got to give credit to Christian and Billy. I do think that this fight, you know, even though he did sustain an injury as well, he he hurt his right shoulder pretty early on in the fight. I will say that I think that Christian and Billy, this fight was more indicative of his limitations, if you will, for his skill set than it was a good win. And Sergey Jevrajenko, this was definitely a step up in competition for Sergey. I mean, uh, this was a Sergey Jevrajenko was definitely a step up in competition for Christian and Billy. But I would say that I was expecting him to shine a little more because Sergey Jevrajenko is a beast, but he is he's an older gentleman. I thought that the young bull, the, the more athletic, the uh, high volume puncher, you know, he throws punches and bunches and then Billy would be able to overwhelm him and he just wasn't able to do it. But like I said, he also <laughs> hurt himself. You know, he hurt his right soul shoulder pretty early check this out and for for three three hours i don't remember i have some problem with my my left hand not be able to 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 bring up my hand my left hand because we knew about his injury but you kept throwing your hand how were you able to do that it was difficult but uh, i do i have to do my best so yeah if you look in if, if you can hear what he's saying and um and understanding me saying that he hurt his right shoulder in the third or fourth round. So he was pretty early too. So I do um, give him some grace uh, with his performance, you know, um, but it's just that they, they're both, they both had essentially one arm and they were, they was going at it like warriors. So shout out to Christian and Billy for winning. But I thought that Christian and Billy, uh, before this fight, I thought that him and my homie, Jaime Munguia would be a good fight. And I know I don't want to be a prisoner of the moment because like he said, his, his shoulder was hurt and I believe him, but, um, I do. I don't have any reason to believe that he beats Jaime McGee. Now, I, I thought it was a close fight. I always lean towards Jaime McGee slightly, but I lean towards Jaime McGee even more now. I don't think he's ready for Canelo. Um, but once again, he did hurt his shoulder, so I got to see another fight um, because I was expecting him to to shine, and he didn't do that. But it could be circumstantial. So y'all, let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. Who do you think? Where do you think Christian and Billy goes from here? Uh, do you think he's ready for somebody like Cinnamon? I don't. Um, but I would, I would like to see him in Berlanga, you know, and he said he's willing to fight Berlanga, whether Berlanga beats Canelo or loses. You know, I would like to see that fight. Uh, I would lean towards a Billy in that fight. But yeah, other than that, I don't know if he beats the other contenders at 168, like even Ozzy Iglesias, who was on this card as well. I don't think if Billy beats him, uh, I don't think he beats Caleb Plant. I don't think he beats Jaime Munguia. Um, definitely not Cinnamon. And uh, who else at 168? I know I'm missing Diego Pacheco and him would be a good fight. But yeah, y'all let me know in the comments who y'all think would be a good fight for him. Billy at 168, who do you think he beats? Who do you think he loses to? And yeah, let me know if you're excited about this card. I thought it was a good card all in all. I just, you know, the injuries just plagued it this time. But y'all be easy. Take care of yourselves. Remember, with God, we can do anything without God. We're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.